guys, I'm at my niece's house. This is going to be the winter edition of the Slow Cooker collab. And be sure to check out all the ladies down below that are doing this with me. There's a lot of them down there and they have some great recipes coming up. So check them guys out for sure. On this recipe, I have a, well, I've been using the, the Rock Crock. And the Rock Crock usually comes with a slow cooker pan my slow cooker pan hadn't gotten here yet so i had to do it on the stove but you can do exactly what i do on the stove in the slow cooker you just leave it cook for six hours versus i think i had mine cook for two and a half hours so just leave it in the slow cooker you don't even have to brown the beef i brown the beef in the beginning you don't have to you can just throw it right in the slow cooker and just let everything go i usually use baby carrots instead of the matchbox carrots i just didn't have any baby carrots so i just used what i had and there's so many different options on making this. So you can kind of pick and choose which options that you like better. You can leave out stuff or add different things. And it all turns out really good. The biggest thing is use the beef broth and the tablespoon of the bouillon. The better than bouillon is awesome in there. So let's get started making this dish. It won't go away. I've got that feeling rushing through my body. I know that it is here to stay. All right, guys, I'm doing a quick cook with me with my rock crock. I have it preheating on medium high, about seven and a half to eight. And I'm going to let this heat up. And I'm going to brown this beef arm roast. It's a grass fed roast that we got very close to our house, actually. So I'm going to brown that in there. And then I will show you the next step. It is browning here. I'm just going to flip this over and let it brown on the other side. And then I'm going to pour some beef broth in here. Just a little bit for now. I'm going to pour some onions in. These are the onions I just chopped up. I'm going to be adding a, about a tablespoon of the better than bouillon beef. That's almost what I got left. And I'm going to be adding some carrots. This is the only carrots I had, so they're, they'll have to do. Okay, so I added about a half a box of the beef broth. Well, maybe just a little over half. It's, it's about halfway up to my roast here. And this is about the amount that I'm adding of the, of the broth. And I'm just going to let that just fall in there. You don't have to really stir it up because you're going to be stirring later. And this is going to slow, this is going to slow boil on the stove for a few hours. It's 4 p.m. right now is when I'm starting this. So I'm just going to dump some of my carrots in here. Not a whole ton, but I'm going to save some room for some potatoes. And this is just Corey and I eating this tonight. So, and we'll just have some beef left over for sandwiches later on. So I'm just going to shovel that around here and I'm going to stick a few potatoes in there. I just have some organic potatoes that I really need to use up so I'm going to stick a few of those in there. Probably like three or four of them. I'm going to wash them up really quick and I'm going to leave the skins on them. So I'll put those four in there. If I can put those all in there I'll show you what that looks like. What I'm going to do is add about a teaspoonful heaping of, oops, of my garlic and of course I have to make a mess of course I don't have my tripod up here but I have the four potatoes that you saw in there and I'm just going to kind of lay this garlic right over the top of the meat here and let that all soak in I'm gonna put a little bit extra because I dropped some there we go and just kind of lay that right over the meat and that will infuse that meat just a little bit and that's all I'm gonna do now this is different than I usually do. I think I'm gonna add a, a stock of celery as well. That'll give it a nice flavor. So I'm gonna cut up that stock of celery real quick and I'll show you that after I get that done. I reduced the heat to four and I think I'm gonna turn it down to three now. And just, I'm gonna, what I want is just like a slow simmer and I might even have to turn this down to two because as you can see, it's boiling pretty hard and I don't want that hard of a boil on there. So I'm gonna clean up my mess here and get you get that celery and show you what that looks like hey guys i have two stalks of celery cut up here and it's literally seven after four only that took me i didn't clean up my mess yet but i just cut this up and i'm gonna just stick it in here now 
All right, so I'm just going to dump this right in here. And then I'm going to put a cover back on this and leave it go. And to thicken that gravy in there, after this is pretty much done, I'm going to take a little bit of this beef broth. Well, I'll show you right now. I'll show you. So I have about a quarter cup of the beef broth here, and I'm going to put a tablespoon and about a half, about a tablespoon and a half in there. And then I'm going to just stir this up. I'll use my pampered chef knife because it's sitting here. So I'm going to just going to, and that's going to settle. So I'll just leave this sit on my stove. It's not going to, it's not going to go bad or anything. You could put it in the fridge if you're worried about that. And then right before you add it to your pot, you're going to stir this up good again. Because it's going to settle before it is done. So I am just going to simply put this over here on the stove and leave it sit there until that is done. I'll bring you back. It's 10 after 4 right now. I'm going to clean up my mess around here because I still haven't done that. And I'll bring you back in a couple hours and show you what this is looking like. It's 4.15 and I've turned the heat down to two or just under two still got a really good boil going on and i actually got my onions the rest of my onions chopped up ready to go in the fridge and my dish is done so it didn't take me too long all right guys i just stirred up my mixture here with my cornstarch and beef broth and it is 6.30 right now, so it's been on for two and a half hours. And this is what, ooh, and that is what it looks like. It looks delicious. So now what I'm gonna do is pour half of this on there and see where we go from there. I'm gonna take my spurtle and I'm going to mix this up a little bit. And I think half of it is all we're gonna need because it's pretty, it's getting nice and thick. That meat is really tender too. All I want is a is a gravy out of this, and that looks like it's pretty good. There you have it, guys. It looks delicious. I went ahead and turned that off, and I left it right here on the burner. I'm going to keep the cover on it. It'll stop bubbling and stuff in a little bit, and this will be ready when my husband gets home. Hopefully, he'll be home soon. Our beef roast, it's really good. We've got the beef, potatoes, carrots, celery, garlic, onions. Really, really good, isn't it, Luna? Is it good, Luna? Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you tried and if you like it, let me know down below in the comments. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. It won't go away. I've got that feeling rushing through my body. I know that it is here to stay